Hello boys and girls, uh, here we will be solving substitution method. This is second example. We have seen the first example in the previous video. Now again the steps will remain the same. Step 1 will be to isolate one of the variable. But in this particular example, uh, if you see equation 1, y is isolated, y is alone and equation 2 also, again I have y alone. So I do not have to isolate any variable. It is already done for me. Now it is my choice either to substitute value of y from the first equation into the second or I will substitute value of y 3x plus 1 from the second equation to the first. So, suppose I am trying to, I am doing the first one, I will substitute the value of y x minus 9 from the first equation into the second equation. So, in my second equation in place of y, I will write x minus 9. And the right hand side will stay the same 3x plus 1. So now we have an equation where you have only one variable which is x. Now let us solve this variable. So we will shift the smaller variable term. So x will move to the right side. So x terms are coming to the right. So I will shift 1 to the left. So on my left I have minus 9 and on this side I have 3x plus 1 when you shift it to the left it will become minus 1 and plus x when you move it to the right it will become minus x. Minus 9 minus 1 will give me minus 10 and 3x minus x gives me 2x. I need to eliminate 2 which is in multiplication. So, I divide both sides by 2. Now, dividing by 2 minus 10 by 2 gives me minus 5 and here 2 and 2 will get cancelled. I will get x. So, my value for x is minus 5. Now, once I got the value of x, I need to find the value of y. To find the value of y, what I will do is, I will plug this value back in the first equation. So, let this, let substitute x equal to minus 5 in equation 1. So, what do we get here? So, y equal to, in place of x, I will write minus 5. So, minus 5 minus 9. So, my answer for y is y equal to minus 14. So, I got both the values x equal to minus 5 and y equal to minus 14. So, these are the values which are satisfying both the equation. So, these are my solution. So, this is how you solve equation by substitution method. That is it.